Welcome back to the grind for some buffed guillotine gameplay with a couple bosses from the Cavalier event quest. Now, this boss has um, where if you don't have a bleed active, then each hit has a chance to put an incinerate on you. They don't deal that much damage, so with willpower you can deal with a couple of them, but if you get too many, then it definitely starts to hurt. Now, I don't have a full guide on guillotine yet because I want to get a little more experience in various content because... Guillotine is not necessarily a bad champion, but she does have some significant restrictions that make her not, not necessarily ideal for many situations. Also, she is uh, arguably a lot worse than before in several ways because her main big damage burst off the special three is now gone and her awesome healing is now significantly reduced and you almost don't even notice any of the regen. Now, the damage with Guillotine without any synergies is better than it was before, but it relies heavily on being able to chain on several heavy attacks back to back. Now, you can just parry heavy, wait for them to come in, parry heavy, wait for them to come in, parry heavy again, but that takes up a lot of time, and so it's difficult to get more than two to three of the bleed curses stacked up from your heavy attack in one go for your special attacks. The best way to do it is throwing off your special ones because for bar of power, you'll get more hit of special attacks but if you want to just take advantage of one good um, stack of bleed curse a special two has three hits on it and you can stack up some good bleeds so you want to get as many bleed curses on as possible and then throw off your special attack and that's where you're going to get a lot of bleed damage so you do need to be able to bleed the opponent unless you are awakened then there is a chance that you'll be able to stack ruptures instead of bleeds but you can see that it's not the easiest thing to do against certain champions to counter with a, counter their heavy attack or sorry counter their special attack with a heavy attack of your own and then chain a bunch on in the corner because if they create too much space then you're not going to be able to counter another uh, heavy attack after you throw off your heavy attack so you have to try to get as many as you can and we were a bit limited in our special attacks because of losing power to one of the nodes burden of might i think it was called on this so that was a bit of a challenge now the next fight is against the venom boss in this cavalier month event quest and there's enhanced parry so we gain power but there's also redlining so we'll get to two bars very fast so we don't have a ton of time uh, to stack up our bleed curses before throwing off special attacks and we also have hurt lockers so you have to rotate which special attacks you're throwing so uh, venom is another one where it's challenging to counter his special one with a heavy attack which means um, it's difficult to spam several heavy attacks back to back even if you get him into the corner and the heavy attack is something you could bait out but in order to get him against the corner you have to attack into him so even if you get him to the corner and bait out a heavy attack uh, you don't have much time before he gets over one bar of power at which point you'd have to stop spamming heavy attacks of course uh, and bait out a special attack so that's where the problem lies so here we're gaining power very quickly so we had to throw off our special attack uh, before we lost all our power thankfully it was unblockable which is nice once you get over 10 curses it's unblockable so you can still throw off heavy or sorry special attacks in difficult situations if you need to uh, but we're having trouble getting all the way into the corner in a couple of these matchups because of the way the mechanics work or the animations work for specials and heavies so here we got a heavy attack but he has a bar of power so we didn't want to risk countering with a bunch of heavy attacks at that time we want to make sure we're not pushing ourselves too high on power until we're ready because we're going to go to two bars very quickly and we can't throw our special one because we just threw it and hurt locker is going to punish us if we do so once again we're we're pressured to throwing off our special two uh, before optimal situation which is you know getting more of those bleed curses stacked up in an ideal situation against a select number of champions with certain node situations you still can get them into the corner spam two or three heavy attacks back to back beta beta special one spam more heavy attacks back to back and you can get three to four bleed curses stacked up for when you throw off your special attacks but that's not going to happen in a lot of situations depending on the champions you're going up against and the nodes that are there but look we got 12 bleed stacked up not bad at all and the damage is pretty good you can see him starting to melt down pretty quickly so the damage is is there and without any synergy synergies so it's nice but again when you compare to the old guillotine we lost a ton of damage off the special three and we lost a massive healing potential so i'm working on getting some more gameplay but i hope that this was interesting a little bit of a teaser for what you can do and i hope to see you in the next video